Hi everyone! So I made campfire bread over the fire outdoors. It was a lot of fun, so I'm gonna show you how I made it. And so I started a charcoal fire, and um, I have another video demonstrating how to do that. And I also, you know, grilled chicken, grilled vegetables, grilled tomatoes, and I also had my smoker going in which I smoked bacon which I demonstrated in another video and also used to make bacon pie um, but anyway here's how you make the bread you mix together semolina flour whole wheat flour and all-purpose flour with instant yeast and sea salt I'm being very careful not to mix the salt and the yeast directly but I'm going to give everything a quick stir and then I'm going to go outside and take my time to add the water and a little bit of oil and knead the bread together this was really relaxing and just I just love being outdoors with the fire crackling away and you know um, kneading the bread I got my hands cleaned properly and then I kneaded the bread by hand it's a nice soft smooth dough and also nutritious because it has fiber in there and I set it aside to rise for one hour after which I just divided it into four buns and let that rise for half an hour meanwhile I started preheating my IKEA Dutch oven on the charcoal greased it and then pour and then plopped in two of the loaves of campfire bread each of these like makes a really good serving for one person I feel um, I let that cook on one side, I covered it a little bit, and then I opened it, and it was just about time to flip it over because it just browned in one side. You don't want to, like, let it burn, as I let one earlier batch burn. This time, I was very careful not to let it overcook. In any case, it's a very easy job of flipping it over with a, with a metal, uh, what do you call that, spatula? Anyway, and as soon as it was well browned on both sides, it was ready. And I'm testing the uh, burnt piece of bread. In the olden days, people would bake their breads in ovens that were wood-fired. And the bottom in inevitably got burnt as well as covered with soot and stuff. So that's where you get the term upper crust bread for people who could afford to eat only the non-burnt upper crust so that's how the bread looks it is amazing i loved it the texture was really good and i served it with grilled chicken with grilled vegetables it was a really nice dinner so if you like this video do uh, try the recipe out and like subscribe stay tuned for more bye